the Armed Forces Bowl. It is Missouri against Army. Now, at one point, I had a list of bowl game gifts, and I'm going to see if I've got them. Uh, Army is a six and a half point favorite here in the Armed Forces Bowl, and I like it. I, I, I like Army a lot. Uh, Tyler Beatty is not going to play again. If you want to go over and watch, since this this show is going to be at uh, da, 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 9 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday, uh, make sure and watch this afternoon on the Bet U.S. College Football Show, and we will break this game down in much more depth. But Missouri missing a bunch of guys. They are starting a freshman quarterback, uh, Brady Cook, I believe is his name. I don't know that Missouri cares a lot about this game, right? With Tyler Beatty not playing, and and it was a coach's decision, which is really weird, uh, I don't know that I expect them to put up a ton of points. I think that Army is the significantly more disciplined football team. The line has gone from Army minus 3.5 all the way up to 6.5, and and I still kind of think that I like Army here. Uh, because I think they're going to be pissed off about the way that they played last week. So, uh, the gifts on this one, by the way. Gift suite, action face figure, I don't know what that is, a Google Chromecast, and a commemorative football. Now, Chromecast you can get for like 25 bucks. Uh, a football that's got like the Armed Forces Bowl logo on it, I guess that's kind of cool. An action face figure, I just, I, I have no idea. I, that, none of that makes sense to me. Action face figure. Army is going to be able to run the football on Missouri. Missouri's rush defense has been significantly better as of late, but action face figure. It's a 3D. That's weird. Okay. It's a, it's a figurine of yourself. So I don't know how they're going to do that for each individual player, but that's a very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Army, I think... Is the, is the side here. I think Army wants to win this game. I think Missouri is basically using this as a practice to get ready for next season. I don't think Eli Drinkwitz really gives a rip about this. And also, Steve Wilkes, the defensive coordinator, I don't think has actually seen a triple option offense yet. I don't think he knows what to do with this. Now, obviously, he's watched film. He's done all that. But it's a lot tougher when you haven't ever played against it. There's not a lot of triple option offenses in the NFL. I will say that. So, give me Army to cover the six and a half here. But uh, I don't know if it's going to be an official play. We'll see. Tune into the BetUS College Football Show, and uh, and I'll let you know on there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.